Bullnog. Chucks out a couple of spells in the middle of that team fight, and that's his contribution. That's done. That's it. And uh, unfortunately, star power aside, you know, celebrity in Bulldog really is just a celebrity at this point. He doesn't really seem to be keeping up too effectively with the high level of play that is going on on the S on the S4 side, on the OG side. I've turned this into OG into S4 versus Bulldog already. What an absolute dream this is. <laughs> Fly and Resolution having quite a bit of success recently with this laning combination. To those of you who aren't just tuning in, Bulldog is indeed standing in on the puck, which is probably why a couple of you are tuning in in the first place. In which case, welcome, all the Bulldog lovers or haters, whatever you might be. I'm very interested to see how exactly this game will be panning out in terms of the all chat. I'm really hoping to see some all chat coming through from Bulldog and S4. Of course, everyone knows their former teammates from the Legendary Alliance squad that was able to win the TI3. But it seems like so far it's been a slightly slow beginning to the game. No real aggression coming through despite a couple of rotations till OD. That was very, very well done because if not, OD taking the full damage of the Sunstrike might have allowed them to be able to get him to f uh, fall back or at least get him or maybe even get him to go down. Meanwhile, they get another kill as Bulldog tries to go in. That might not have been your best of decisions you've made this entire game. Bulldog S4 will be traded away, so it's still somewhat fair and somewhat reasonable, especially if they can get the kill on fly. This will make things a little bit more favored in their side. However, Jarax attempting to send him back will be stopped and his ice shards will be a little bit hard. It will be a little bit hard to actually catch up to him, though he's already so far away. Even though Plasma Field will be able to catch him out temporarily. Why is he going down? This takes him further away from his own tower. They're trying to TP in some more support, but he might be caught out. Sunstrike is there, and it lands. Storm finally. We. Oh. Uh, Oops. Uh, I guess I gotta end it then. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Crapper. Alright. Sorry, boys. Uh, I'm gonna have to end it here for you. Don't worry, you can watch on the mainstream. And that despite those kills, Bane suddenly, after getting the first five or so kills when they were up 5 1, Bane started not being able to get experience anymore because he wasn't sitting in a lane. After they get so successful and there is a pause that allows us to work around a little bit more, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure Bulldog's about to get scolded. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Mmm. <laughs> I should not be so satisfied about this. I'm just happy that I knew the rule book. Honestly, nothing else. <laughs> uh, oh, Bulldog. Oh, Bulldog, you started this drama with Star Ladder. Now you're starting it with Epicenter. This time, though, you are in the lobby, so I think they're in the clear. I think they are indeed in the clear. Resolution is suddenly sweating bullets because he's, he's realizing, wait, who are we going to stream tonight now? How do we know what they're doing? <laughs> of course, that's not true. Of course, that's not true. You know, OG, standout gentleman, standout gentleman of the game. Now, where was that before? Right, so the Bane... Not actually blocked him out. Brings his creeps back to himself and in the process of doing so will deny one creep's worth of farm. But oh, actually, hold that thought. Picks up the creep immediately afterwards in two, and so that's two creeps worth of farm denied. Good job, Jarax. Woohoo! You're doing a great job, Jarax. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! I don't know why I did that. The game's getting a little bit slow. This is what happens when the game gets slow, guys. Tea time gets slower. Bullnog chucks out a couple of spells in the middle of that team fight, and that's his contribution. That's done. That's it. And uh, unfortunately, star power aside, you know, celebrity in Bulldog really is just a celebrity at this point. He doesn't really seem to be keeping up too effectively with the high level of play that is going on on the S on the S4 side, on the OG side. I've turned this into OG into S4 versus Bulldog already. 
What an absolute dream this is. A bulldog, nice three man dream call, but the range is not enough to keep him alive. And now Bane will be next to fall. As Dota TV will continue to lag up, we're gonna see the OG team blinking forward as a group. And finding one more. Tusk may buy back, but Storm is going to go down regardless. Resolution seems like that's gonna be his first death in a very long time. And in the meanwhile, he did, of course, trade his life away for the Tier 3 tower. A fair trade and a fly keeping himself alive as Cube, who did buy back, is struggling to, get, to do the same. And struggling to make sure that if he go, oh dear, no tail, blinking forward, Dragon Lance up. Not the Dragon Lance, Hurricane Pike up. And he started off weak, he was not doing too hot throughout most of the game, but no tail is now back up in the top three net worth charts where he belongs. These past few team fights have definitely secured that position for him. Blink forward, hammer drop, one more hit, and now onto Cube they go. He tried to get out that Walrus punch, but GG will be called while he's still imprisoned up. His teammates decide that he's gonna go down regardless, may as well spare him some pain and make it a quick death. And with that OG dominating game number one, are gonna be are going to be moving forward into game number two very soon afterwards. And stay tuned because we're going to be back in just a few. Of course, in the meanwhile, if you've enjoyed the casting, this has been Tea Time bringing to you this game. Remember to vote for me when the voting does indeed start. <clears throat> What's going to be the most interesting thing, though, is in this entire game, going to be the Bulldog Enchantress and whether or not he can actually try and monopolize that lane and try and shut down No Tail somewhat. Admittedly, it's also possible that we see some shenanigans come through and Bulldog could be sent towards the safe lane. Lifestealer is a very, very effective laner when it comes to going up against a Mel. Actually has quite a bit of space to do a lot unless we see some incredibly good wolf blocks to come, coming through. <laughs> unless we see some incredibly good wolf blocks coming through from Admiral Bull uh, from uh, No-Tail onto Admiral Bulldog to prevent him from getting away long enough that they can get the right clicks out. But now that the untouchable has been skilled, No Tail knows that there's no point in trying to trade hits with the with the Enchantress. Rezo. <laughs> He's uh, going to be forced back from the rune as a four-man movement down towards it will have ensured that the dark side will be able to get that. And interestingly enough, No Tail is continuing to run away. No Tail. Continuing to run after Bulldog rather, but now he's going to be able to get a few more swipes in. This battle is not one that no is going to be able to win, though he does have the extra regen in the form of a salve. no -Tail will be forced to fight up against the Bulldog Enchantress for the rune, and in the end might just end up giving it up. He's going right, he's going left, he's able to get on top of the rune, gets it easily. I lost the bigger battle that was going on across the map, though, as SH takes down S4. And unfortunately, seems like... Uh, Although no -Tail was able to get the first bounty rune of the game, they weren't quite able to get the first blood of the game on their own side. Rezo over towards the mid lane now. And he might be circled around upon if Hovita can take down the score. That would have been big, but Hovita is a bit too slow and he can't make his way over in time. Um, that's all he has and that's not too bad, but when you compare it to the time that we're on right now, when you compare it to Resolution's farm, Resolution is literally more than double his net worth right now. A very difficult situation. To find yourself in. And before I was under the impression that Cube maybe could try and pair something up, try and get a quick hook shot out, and maybe they can get enough damage to be able to take down a player and force them back, and that could have been the game changer. But for now, they just seem to have too much to work with. Now, Life Seeder is keeping in aggressively as well. He will be able to force him back, but only for a little while as a song comes through. He's going to be forced to infest into a creep. That creep is killed immediately afterwards as well. Resolution finishes him off. He's got no buyback, and this is GG. It's 17 minutes in, and OG will finish this off. Ultra kill for Resolution. Might even be the Rampage, and indeed it will be. Resolution. 15, 0, and 4. 17 minutes in. What a performance coming out from him. Version. Dude, I watched that bulldog drama. Yeah, I thought the guy was a moron. Honestly, though, everyone should be flaming that guy because he's been casting for like a decade and he's still a terrible caster. And he doesn't have even a cursory peripheral knowledge of Dota 2 the video game. Like, the bulldog thing is irrelevant. Like, people should be like, hey, this is a $500,000 major sponsored by Valve with the best teams in the world. And it's a game with OG 
TI winning players, major winning players, and it's casted by a guy who doesn't understand the game. They should be mad about that, in my opinion, anyways. Because the angry mob will always hunt you. Like the Admiral Bulldog situation, you're going to attack Admiral Bulldog? This guy is the most popular Dota 2 streamer on Twitch. What are you expecting to have happen to a, to a band of fanaticals? They are going to come after you if you say something bad about him, let alone saying he basically, yeah, he's only a celebrity now. He's no longer a player. You're still talking about a winner of the international. You must show respect. You